Hello, Amanda Fisher, the cash flow queen. And today I was asked a question when I was being interviewed on Ticket TV about whether or not prices should be reduced because costs have been reduced. You know, we've got JobKeeper money coming in. You don't have as many staff that are employed doing the work anymore, uh, particularly if you're working with casual staff. Um, you know, you've probably got a rent reduction. Should you, you know, shouldn't you be reducing the price? The the um, customer experience is a lot less now. You know, you don't have that same capability, particularly if you're talking about retail and particularly a restaurant cafe type situation. And I thought, no, no, you shouldn't be. Now, in some cases you might, but for me, just because you may have slightly less costs in some areas, the chances are you still, you're still paying all the other costs. And in some cases, some of the cost savings are only deferrals, they're not permanent. So for me, I wouldn't be cutting cost. I wouldn't be cutting prices. I'd be finding ways to have a more engaging experience with the customer, finding ways to make the experience you know, more of a, a wow. And yes, whilst you may, your customers may have to queued up to come in or you know, pre-booked you know, to have access to you know, the 10 tables or whatever, it is, 10 seats in your, in your premises, Make sure that when you do have them in your business premises, that you give them a wow experience because you want them to keep coming back. It's the same reason that I say that while some businesses have shut down and, and yes, it is difficult to decide whether to be open or not. For me, you know, I just think of my hairdresser. My hairdresser found a way to stay open the entire time. She's, you know, you know, you've only, only got, you know, however many people in the place at one time. It's a very small number of people compared to what it was. But when I was there recently, she had someone walk in off the, you know, off the street asking whether she could get an appointment. And I said to, you know, the lady that does my hair who owns the salon, I said, well, you know, did you just get a new customer come in the door? She said, yeah. I said, oh, she said, a lot of the, a lot of my competitors have, they're not open at all. And so whilst they're not open, she's reaping the benefits. Her business is doing well enough. She's not even entitled to get JobKeeper, which is the best thing you possibly have. And I reckon that when those other businesses open again, they're not going to find that their customers go flooding back to them. Some will, but some are going to stay with this business that, stayed open that provided the service in, in these difficult times. So it's about providing the services, about providing the experience and look, everybody's different and I get that, you know, making sure everybody's safe from your staff to the customers in your premises is massively important and you have to feel comfortable with that as a business owner. But if you can find some way to get some income, some way to provide your products or services to your customers and keep the doors open, the money coming in, then it's going to stand you in good stead down the track. Because I think that for the vast majority of us, the people that have kept themselves open, that have had a crack at it, that have made an attempt to keep it going, they're the ones that are building a loyal following now. And they haven't been cutting their prices. I, I see no reason to cut prices. Make sure the service is as best you possibly can. But don't be looking at cut prices. That is not the way to work your way out of this situation from a cash flow perspective or from a profit perspective. Remember, whatever you do, just make sure you make your numbers count.